Well, tonight, dozens of dogs are on the road to a better life. Alexa Helwig shows us now why a local group took a trip to Texas to bring back a van full of chihuahuas. From Texas to Ohio, it's likely an uneasy feeling for these chihuahuas. But in the care of Joanne Hurley and her team from Warren County, they're on the road to something better. We had plenty of love in our heart, and gas in our tanks and decided to go. On Sunday, Joanne hit the road to El Paso. 23 hours later, she made it to the Texas shelter. About 100 dogs were rescued from an elderly man who was hoarding them. Unfortunately, when this happens, dogs don't get the medical care they need. They don't get the vaccination they need, which, which puts them at serious risk. There are more than 50 of them waiting to start over. I get so um, pumped up when we do these situations because I know that we're taking these animals from a really bad, kind of treacherous, horrendous situation to a life that they can enjoy freely and openly, you know, for the end of their days. But first, the team in Warren County needs help. A big undertaking like this only happens through donations. We have to intake them all into our system. They all have to have blood draws. They all have to have toenails clipped. They all have to be groomed. As they prepare for a new life in a new forever home. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. The shelter will post to its Facebook page when these dogs are ready for adoption because I'm sure that's what everyone at home is wondering about. There's a link to all the information over at local12.com. I know people will want to help. My rescue came from that group and um, people donated for dental work for all the shelties wow. that had been dumped at that time. So people come out to help. They're doing the Lord's work. All right.